Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back today with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, Apple iPhone 10X Max leather wallet cases. Doing a quick comparison of the two. Kind of the cheaper one versus the more expensive. Okay, so on the left side we have the touch case. This one I got on Amazon.com for about 20 bucks. Also we have the Berkeley leather case in brown. This one was actually 80 bucks. So I'm gonna take a look at both of these, see which one is the better buy or which one may actually be worth the money. All right, let's take a look at the touch first. All right, on this one, you've got the snap closure like you do on the Berkeley. And when you open it up, you have your um, slots for your credit cards and a money slot. And on this one, on this side, you have your TPU uh, case or Apple iPhone holder. You have your cutout for your rocker and volume up and down and power. On the bottom, you have your usual cutouts for your speakers and charging port. All right, on the back, there's nothing. Uh, now this is the old phone. It's actually the seven. So I'm just going to put this on here for demonstration purposes. All right, let's see. We can kind of see how everything works. All right, so this one, this one does have a stand. You know, you can use it as a stand. Like that when you want to view everything. So it works well. I haven't had any problems with it. You know, the siding pockets are, you know, flexible enough so you can easily pull something out. No problem. And every now and then I carry cash. I'm not usually a cash person. So, you know, pull it up. There you go. I haven't had any problems with it coming loose or anything like that. And usually whenever I open it, you know, use my phone this way. This kind of stays uh, connected with the magnet. So I just text and move on about my little business. All right. Like I said, this one was 20 bucks on Amazon.com. Okay. Let me take the phone out of this one real quick. And up next, we have the Berkeley. Now, this one is a little bit more premium. The leather looks a lot better. You also have the Berkeley emblem here, the buffalo. You see that? And this one has the cutouts, so you can you don't have to open a phone case to actually use it. And this one has a magnetic case as well. And when you open this one up, you have your you have four versus three of the other one. And this one does come with a little cut, so you can easily slide your uh, ID or cards or whatever out. This one also has a wallet. I'm sorry, a pocket in the back for cash or whatever you want to put in there. Now this one actually says handcrafted from full grain leather. So of course you're gonna pay more money for this one. And this one is detachable. See that, you can pull that off. If you don't wanna carry this, you can just carry this. It still looks good, still has the logo on the back. The buffalo there, nice stitching, nice coloring. Now you have the space for your rocker, line up and down your cutouts here, and power button. Okay, and like I said, the back is all leather as well. So you're gonna get the full leather experience with this one all the way around. On the back, nothing. So when you pop this back on, it just snaps back on in place. Like I said, this is gonna be a seven, so the cameras are not gonna line up in the back, but you get the idea. So it's gonna look like this whenever you're out. Fold it up. You can tuck this back here. So stay together. Now this one is a little bit more premium magnet. It does stay closed a little bit better to me. I did notice that. But as far as, you know, when you use the camera, like I said, it's got the cutouts for it. So you don't have to, like on the other one, whenever you close it, you can't see 
you can't use the camera, so you have to use it this way when you want to take a photo. With this one, you do not, it has the cutout. Let me just pull that out. It has the cutout, so that is a benefit. So, basically, do I think it's worth it for the extra 80 bucks? Mm, not exactly. If you want the leather all the way, you know, throughout the case, go for it. If you want the cutout, yeah, it is helpful to have that. And this one doesn't really stand on its own. You basically have to detach it because it will not stand up. So I didn't like that part of it. I wish that this one would stand up as well, but I understand with the magnets on the back and the detachable part, you can't do that because that's what's holding your phone together. So yeah, like I said, this one, you can do that, but that's the only benefit to this one, using it as a stand, you know, if you wanna watch videos or something like that. But if you don't need that feature and you probably just, you know, wanna be able to close your phone, still use that cutout there, well, Actually, you can't do that with this one either. I'm sorry. You would have to still leave it open because that is going to cover your port for your phone. Hmm. Well, so actually the cutout's only there if it's open. Like this way. So, well, but anyway, I still wouldn't recommend you get this one. Spend a lot more money for it what, four times more? Yeah. So, versus the touch for 20 bucks. If you just want the leather look and feel with the magnet, go for it. Or if you just want to have this little slide with an extra pocket, that's good too, but I don't know. To me, it's just a phone case, and this one's probably just as good. So I would probably recommend this one for you people on a budget, these days, it's probably the case with the world going the way it is. If you got the money to spare, this one definitely looks nicer. It feels nicer, it's thicker. The leather is really classy looking. Go with this one. Okay, but they're both great cases. Can't go wrong with either one. All right, you had it. there you have it, the touch and the birthday. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.